to say to Wittenberg and the student population right now? Well, right now, I, I'm fired up, <laughs> obviously. And, and this is really my demeanor and, and, uh, and personality 100% of the time. And I'm excited to be back, excited to be working with, uh, with this you know, generation of uh, Tiger football players. Uh, and, and can't wait to meet the team, to be honest with you, and uh, talk about our vision and our plan and, and, and get to know them. And, uh, and then to the student body. It's exciting to be back. Uh, I, I hope that our student body supports us. That's what our goal is going to be, to get out, uh, engage with the student body, and get them behind us and get them uh, at our games on Saturdays. Absolutely. And you know that college game day experience is obviously huge, and building that is huge. But... Uh, you were just talking to other members of the media, and uh, you were saying how you know the culture that Wittenberg has and the, the kind of lug luxury that you have as the big shoes that you have to step in to fill. How do you balance uh, coming in and wanting to build your own culture while also embracing those that have come before you, like Bill Edwards and Dave Maurer and Coach Mitchell? Well, I think being part of it yep. is obviously big. And, uh, you know, I had the chance to be part of the the, uh, the early era that was uh, started with Bill Edwards. Obviously, I didn't play for Bill Edwards or Dave Maurer. I played for Ron Murphy, who coached and played and, and also played for Bill Edwards. So that, that I think, uh, you know, that history and tradition of, of that era is, is extremely important. And obviously, uh, a, lot of what, a lot of the philosophies that I've had coming through coaching started with that foundation. Uh, but I have great respect for what Doug Niebuhr and Joe Fincham did here as well. They came in and, and put their, their own personality into the program and had great success. And, and great success comes with having great players. And, and there's a lot of great players that played here over the last 25, 30 years. And uh, looking forward to meeting them as well. And, and I think that the awesome responsibility of being the leader of this program is embracing the past, but also moving forward and uh, moving forward with a high uh, standard and, and competing every day to be the best we can be. And I think if you have the right people and you compete every day to be the best you can be, uh, the scoreboard takes care of itself. Absolutely. And talking about the future, right, we uh, lucky enough had the, a very young roster this season with a lot of uh, players coming from not only this year's recruiting class, but last year's recruiting class who didn't get a lot of playing time because of COVID, obviously, and, and they grew a lot during the year. Have you been able to get into the roster and all and look at film, and or was this just an opportunity that you, the minute uh, Director Agler called, you're like, no matter what, I'm in? Well, you know what? I, I think it's a combination of both, obviously. I was, you know, obviously excited about the opportunity, uh, but as a Tiger, you always follow the team and uh, you check the scores on, on Sunday mornings or, or in the internet Saturday night. So it was great to see uh, a young group of guys compete this year like they did. And, and quite frankly, uh, be really close to, to winning the conference and, and getting into the playoffs. Uh, but, but what you see is a young team. I, I think you can, the, the, the running game looks like it's in very good hands. Three young running backs that, that perform really well. A sophomore quarterback who who at the end of the year was probably playing as good as anybody in the league. Looks like a defense that will get after you and, uh, and, and, and you know, do a great job of containing other offenses. And, and so all those things are, were, were important to me, knowing that there's going to be people on this roster, uh, in this program, that, that, are, that are really good football players and really good people. Absolutely. Um, now, obviously, without giving any of your future opponents, any, any kind of hint. What kind of schematically do you want to bring to the Tigers in, in kind of their offense and defensive mindsets or game plans? Uh, recently, we've been in a spread offense type system. Is that something that you want to implement? Or is it kind of just based off of the roster and how you see the players fitting into a system? Well, I think the most important thing is philosophically, I believe in speed and power. Uh, we're going to build, build a team around speed and power. Uh, what I've always uh, been attracted to offensively and the personalities that we've had is, is we want a vertical passing game. Uh, we want big play potential with our personnel and we want to be able to run the football. We, we think in, in either order and, and sometimes you know you, when you talk about balance uh, for us balance is about attacking the defense the way our personnel is designed to attack them and, and it, as I said it could be 
we could come out of the game throwing the football, we can come out running it, but ultimately what our goal is to put points on the board and control the line of scrimmage. Uh, so we, we've based things out of a spread offense. I think that's such a generic term nowadays. It really is. Uh, but, but I think when you run, whatever offense it is, it's really important that you're really good up front and that you have the type of personnel, especially at the quarterback position, that, that can make plays. Uh, defensively, we want to have speed, power. We want guys that can run in the football and are great tacklers. We want to be the best tackling team in the country. And, and, and you do that by developing players in terms of what they know they're supposed to do and, uh, and then work the heck out of technique and fundamentals every day in practice so that they get really good at, really good at it. The other big part of it that no one really likes talking about as much is special teams. And, and we want to create havoc in special teams. We, you know, for us, special teams isn't just about being sound and fundamental and, and being safe. We, we want to make sure that we've got our best people in the kicking game. And, and whether, it, whether that means a, a big play return man, a weapon at the kicking position, or, or a group of guys that's going to go block a kick. Uh, I, I think you can create so much of an advantage for your football team if you take care of things in the kicking game. Obviously. And you coming back to Wittenberg, do you understand how, how special this place kind of is to people and not only our alumni base, but something that we here at Witt love to do is the whole saying of having light we pass it on to others, and a big part of that is recruiting. So what kind of recruiting messages are you going to send out uh, not only this year as you build kind of like your program out from the, from the start, but hoping to like build into the future, what, what kind of word do you want to get out to those, those future recruits? Well, here's the bottom line. First of all, your experience here is going to be life-changing. It really is. It changed my life. It changed my wife's life. And, and you're going to grow as a person, and, and you're going to enjoy the four years while you're here. Uh, number two, the, the prestige of this education, uh, you, you know, you're going to get a really, at the end of the day, a world-class education here at Wittenberg. And, and I have so many friends that, that uh, are where they are because of that Wittenberg degree. Uh, and then from a football standpoint, everything we do is going to be based around doing it the absolute best that you can possibly do it. We're going to constantly push as a coaching staff uh, our players to be the best they can be. And the end result is going to be a great experience and a winning experience. And uh, if you're a young man that values uh, all those things and wants to win and wants to be a part of something special, this is the place to come. Absolutely. Let me also mention this. Uh, we've got the best facilities in the country. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a big part of, uh, of the experience as well. So you're going to walk into Wittenberg University and you're going to see something that you're not going to see at any other school in the country. No, for sure. Uh, final question, Coach. What's the first play of the season? We're going deep. <laughs> We're going deep right Fantastic. out of the gate. Well, thank you so much for doing this. Appreciate it. Yeah. And then you'll just look at Sam. Um, so our strength and conditioning head coach, per se, came from a very large school and is a very large person and has very big energy. How do you kind of want to incorporate that into, you know, hyping guys up on the sideline if you're down by two touchdowns? Well, I'm going to tell you this, uh, you know, I'm a high energy guy, but uh, the more energy on the sidelines, the better. And when it's a person that your players believe in, trust, and you know is, uh, has their best interest at heart, it, there's nothing more inspiring. And then a lot of these kids have seen, you know, came into this program because of Coach Benjamin and have been with him for four years and will probably get a fifth year. So they've seen his tradition and his schematics and everything how do you kind of want to push them to what you're going to be but also keep them going in that same direction that they've already been in the past couple years I think it all starts with sitting down with every one of them it starts with relationships and uh, trust is a big part of it uh, and they need to know that that I as the head football coach and our coaching staff cares about them and uh, they need to learn to trust us and I think once that happens the transition becomes seamless but, uh, but until that happens, uh, y you know, you really have to work very hard on the relationship part of it. And, uh, and, and really, uh, probably more importantly than, than, than 
you know, just developing that relationship is, is the fact that they understand that uh, you've got their best interest at heart. And that's, that's, the, uh, that's the message I will send out to every single one of those guys right now. We've got their best interest at heart, and they're going to be part of something special, just like they've been and, just, and no different than where we're going. Perfect. Well, Coach Collins, thank you so much for doing this, and great luck in the months to come leading up to the season, and obviously great luck during the season. I appreciate it, Sam. Thank you.